You're very welcome back to Unstable TV. We have quite a curious suggestion about Tom McDonald today, but like everything, we love taking whatever suggestions you guys have and we love watching them with you guys here for the time. But if this is your first time on the channel, do not forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, hit the bell. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you. So Danielle, fill us in on what's going on today. So what's going on today, James, is we found this video, it's called how Tom McDonald scammed his own fans and this is dirty money. We were very, very, very curious when we seen this because we don't know if it's going to be satire or he actually did scam his fans. Let's take a look and see and we'll have a discussion about what this is at the end of the video. Yep, so let's dive in this together. Let's go! Tom McDonald is the cringiest, fakest and most insufferable white rapper of all time. His formula for success is so disingenuous that it's baffling people can't see through it. This man gained a cult-like following by playing a 100% gimmick. Tom is a good example of why white rappers get such little respect in hip-hop culture. He's an independent Canadian rapper who profits by exploiting American politics. One quick scroll through his comment section and you'll find a bunch of comments like this one. I'm 50, not into rap, but this man is brilliant. I don't like rap very much, but my goodness, I love this friggin' song. And this is just the reality of the situation. No one in hip-hop culture respects or even knows who Tom McDonald is. But the real question is, how in the fuck did a Canadian rapper gain the respect of right-wing Americans? Well, even if you don't believe it yourself, just tell them exactly what they want to hear. And that's exactly what Tom McDonald did. He created a fake persona to get rich. Now, I'm not just making things up for the sake of this video. I'm going to show you guys proof of how he did it. I don't want your Xanax bars or your fancy foreign cars. Throw your money in my face and try to tell me that it's art. Now, Tom McDonald loves to call out other rappers, claiming that all they do is glorify violence, glorify drugs, materialism. That's how he kind of got his fame, right? But just two years prior, before he gained his popularity, he was rapping about the exact same shit. On a song, Whoa, if I change Tom different. raps, you already know the deal. I'm trying to get a house in the hills with a view, a couple car garage, and a pool on the roof. Or what about his song, I mean, Wannabe? Is. I was built to fit perfect in a Maserati and to be the drunkest at the Grammy after party. And remember when he called out all the rappers for talking about drugs and women? Smoking weed in the Range Row, making fun of these lame hoes. Filled the whole crib up with cigarettes and bitches, had a threesome with some strippers, woke up with some stitches. Now it's definitely no surprise that Tom gained most of his fans by leaning today? towards right-wing political ideologies. He makes it very clear on songs like Piss Off the World by saying, We all miss the old Eminem, Donald Trump's a good president. Yet just three years before that, he said this, You're living in a country that elected Donald Trump. So does he like Donald Trump or does he not like Donald Trump? Did he change his political belief system? Or did he just see a pocket to slide into to get rich? Or what about this old tweet that was before the fame? Only two likes on this one. Look like a Trump supporter, live like an Obama supporter. Former president of the United oh, States, Donald yeah. Trump, just posted about my new song, End of the But enough about Trump, let's talk about his noble lyrics about the police. On America, Tom raps, half of the Americans I see all hate America. They hate the cops doing their best to take care of us. But of course, I found another tweet from 2016 where Tom says, When I was a child, a cop told me that nothing good happened after 2 a.m. That guy's a fucking liar, so now it's fuck all you pigs. Hashtag fuck the police. Or what about when Tom McDonald takes shots at all the satanic rappers? I swear these artists worship the devil. You can see the symbols in their videos. It's not accidental. They sold their souls to be famous. It's not a debt they could settle. Now that's a completely different tone than what Tom had on this record. Fire rains from the sky, hail Satan. The houses of the holy getting renovated. Or what about this song? The shit is rock and roll to me. There's no control in me. I sold my soul and stole the gold from royalty. Or what about this tweet from 2017? In grade five social studies, each student was to pick a religion, research it, and present on it. I chose Satanism, actually. Now, Tom is not a Christian, but he consistently claims to support and respect his Christian fan base. However, these 2017 tweets say otherwise. How ironic is it to follow a quote from the Bible with facts, LOL, stop. Or what about this one? I just read God is great in a Christian Facebook group. And therein lies the problem. And for someone that talks so much shit about Lil Wayne and his music, 
It's surprising to see that you've personally hand-drawn sketches of them in the That's some drama. For someone that hates mainstream music so much, it's also odd to see you attending Drake concerts. Look, guys, I can go on and on for days with this fucking shit. All I did was a couple Google searches, found some old lyrics that he did. I'm sure there's thousands of other words that he said and put together that contradict his current beliefs in 2023. If you still believe everything that Tom McDonald's saying today, you're simply a fucking idiot. It's very clear what he did. The reason why Tom yeah, McDonald doesn't rap about cars, women, sex, drugs, the reason why he stopped rapping about that shit is not because he changed his beliefs. It's because it wasn't working for him. That formula didn't work. He reinvented himself. He created a character. And I know people are gonna be in the comments section defending him saying, that was the old Tom, he, he's changed. And to you people, I gotta say, look, Tom McDonald and I are the exact same age. We were both born in 1988. Back in 2016 compared to now, my beliefs have not changed that much. There's no human being on fucking earth who changes their beliefs entirely, like complete opposite beliefs in that amount of time. It's fucking impossible. He created a character that you guys are feeding, that you guys made rich, and you're gonna be in the comment section defending them because you're an idiot. Anyways, guys, hit the subscribe button, like the video, combat the haters. Fuck you, Tom McDonald. I felt like that last line he said, which we can't repeat because we'll get taken down, was very personal. I feel like he knows him on yeah. a personal level. I feel like they live near each other or something like that. That feels like it feels like a personal attack at the end. We're only after being introduced to Tom McDonald before the original content creator comes at us and is like, we're big fans. No, we're trying to get in and we want to see what's going on. We want to have a look, an honest perspective. But of course, shout out to you. And a very big shout out to the original content creator. Do make sure you check them out, give them a like, subscribe and share. Thanks again for sending this through. We want to look at all sides of it. We say this a lot in our videos. We even looked at this song that were sent over to us from about Tom McDonald as yeah. well. Like wherever you guys throw at us, we will have a look at it. What did you think about all that? I disagree with him saying that people can't change their whole outlook on the world in that short space of time. Like that's not true. People can. Yeah. They can. Pandemic, a lot, every, a lot of people that we know completely just changed the way they see the world. So to say that you can't do that isn't, I don't think that's very accurate. But how would we know that Tom McDonald didn't just, he thought one way and then he was like, actually maybe the world's not like this at all. Let me reevaluate what's going on and see what happens. Yeah, like there's, there's no sign that's not what went through his head. Like no one's piece of work is going to be the same as their end or where no. they're popular. Like, we've all listened to a lot of artists and stuff like that, and a lot of them do not look like how they started. Like, imagine your favourite artist, and you look at them from when they started. Imagine it. Imagine they just made that, and that was it. Well, you could think of this as, say, like, flipping the script. Yeah. So he's saying Tom McDonald changed the, the style of his rap to the way it is now, talking about politics and stuff like that, because that's where the money is. Think of it the opposite way. Maybe he started his rap career talking about, you know, money, sex, drugs and all that because that's the way he thought that that's how you rap and that's how you get into the industry. Yep. And then he was like, you know, what? I'm going to do what I want to do from the start. Yeah. You could look at it that way too. There's another independent rapper and artist on the internet. He's called Hobson. When he got signed, he was rapping one way and he was like Tom McDonald. He had the, you know, he was all about, you know, women drugs this cars but then when he came off that he started talking about more like what was going on in the world yeah. what everyone's listening to how rap has changed this dynamic and that dynamic it could be do it could be to do with the sign but i think it's very unfair to call them to our fan base idiots yeah that's not that's not right that's why i said it seemed like a very personal attack it yeah. didn't really seem like an attack on his music it just seemed like an attack on him this crowd now we're not bashing you. We are. We do love the video and we love what you put together and the research. Like, of course, we enjoyed your perspective mm -hmm. of it because. Well, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Yeah. If you know, everyone keeps shouting free speech, and this is about free speech. This is what it yeah. is. Everyone's going to be different, mm -hmm. and this is what we love because we love seeing everyone's perspective. Mm -hmm. But just on the background, the backgrounds you have there, when you're talking at the end, you have Biggie Smalls on this side. And then Ice Cube on the other side. Biggie Smalls, when he first started, his his first records 
were very different to the most popular ones. Same with Ice Cube as well. Look, Ice Cube of all people, like he literally changed from gangster rap to Disney. <laughs> he's saying he's only doing it to get money. Maybe he is only doing it to get money. Yep. Maybe it's not the best way to get money, but he's also not doing anybody any harm either. No, he's not. He's like at the end of the, at the end of the day, he's an entertainer. Yeah. Like there's a lot of people who might feel a bit lost, and this may be the thing that keeps them going. We all have an artist that keeps us going. Just on the back of the Biggie and the Ice Cube stuff, not bashing them, I listen to them as well. I listen to a lot of music, so they are good. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying, in this perspective, to say he completely changed his dynamic, yes, Ice Cube did the same thing. That's our opinion, and that's that's what we think. Is he is he after changing completely? Yeah, of course, if you pick anyone's tweets apart from 2012 or 2016 to now, yes, you'll see a different person, yeah. because well, we're all lost. <laughs> people have to grow, people have to... You know, people, everybody learns that it's something new every day, so. Yeah. You're always, your mind's always kind of getting shaped no matter what you're doing, so. Well, I do appreciate the fact that you went to the bottom and making the video to tell people, have a look into the art you're listening to. Yeah, exactly. So I appreciate that. And the way you said, you know, we've shown you the fan base, like, as well as, like, some people do take this a bit more. Seriously than others. Yeah. yeah. Like, I appreciate the research you went through for that because I love having a look into the industry and even in the pen there is what they're doing. We wouldn't have known Tom McDonald rapped like that before. No one has told us that that's what has all rapped for you, so this yeah. is something else that we've learned. We we learned about us all the stuff thanks to you, so. Yeah. And we've learned about Tom McDonald today thanks to the Hog fam. So, that's true. We, if you have anything else to go on the back of this, or you want to have a discussion about mm -hmm. this in the comments, please do. Be respectful in the comments section. That has been an hour or two since on Chop Yourself Sodas.